So a big announcement from True Blue and Wicked Witch announcing that AFL Evolution Season Pack 2018 will be released on the 3rd of May 2018, which means we're just over a month away from the actual release of the update. Now the update will be released both digitally and at retail, so as they did for AFL Live 1 back in 2012 with their update. The interesting thing to note as well is that the Facebook post talks about the PS4 and Xbox One version of the game, but there's no mention of the Steam version of the game, the PC version. Now I know True Blue has a history of delaying their games when they release on PC, I believe in an attempt to fight piracy against the game, so maybe that's what they're doing here which I would be surprised by, kind of, just because it's an update, not really a fully-fledged new game. But um, there is no mention of the PC version, so whether it's coming at all, whether it's just being delayed, as per usual, we'll have to wait and see. Now, as for the content of the season pack, we still don't really know. There's been no confirmation from True Blue or Wicked Witch about anything specific. There's obviously the, the given stuff, the, the lists, the guarantees, the teams, all that kind of stuff. If you haven't watched it already, we put up a video uh, on this channel a little while back talking about the update and what we might see, what we won't see, what we want to see, all this kind of stuff. So if you haven't checked that video out, go check it out. Hopefully, link will be in the, the description if I remember. One of the things I mentioned in that video was uh, state leagues. So Waffle, Sandful, Neeful, all these state leagues that aren't already in the game. Basically, I said that these state leagues might be a chance to get added, but it would be an outside chance, and I wouldn't expect it to be in there. If you guys watch Twisty's videos here on YouTube, he put out a video not too long ago that basically where he went through the achievements on the Steam version of the game and discovered that there was a bunch of new achievements uh, for AFL Evolution that basically confirmed Optus Stadium would be added, which was kind of a given. Waffle, Neeful and Sandful will be added as well, which is a big, big deal if added because this is something that fans have been wanting for so long, you know, like we've been asking for these other state leagues for so long. Especially with AFL Wii and AFL Live 2, they added VFL, TAC Cup, NAB Championship, all these kind of secondary leagues that they've added over time. Now people are still saying, where's the Waffle, where's the Sandful, where's Neeful, where's all these other state leagues that we haven't seen a lot of. The fact that they're adding them now is very cool, we've been asking it for a while, but also, if true, it's Again, Wicked Witch and True Blue going above and beyond, which has kind of been how they've been working on this game, which is great. Because for so long, AFL games have had the bare minimum of what we've kind of expected, and really they could have released this season pack with just a 2018 update for AFL and AFLW, and no one would have questioned that. Everyone would have said, yep, that's fine. They've gone the extra mile, they've gone and got, you know, the licenses for Waffle and Sandful and Neeful, um, if that's true. So it's very exciting to think they're going the extra mile, that's what we talked about in the past with gameplay sliders and these other kind of things that they didn't have to add but they've gone that extra mile to make the game as good as it possibly can be and again that's what we're getting here now which is awesome. In that video I also talked about um, AFX and the possibility of that being added. I'm still not sure about this one. I don't think it will be added but this update won't be released until May so that gives them enough time potentially to add AFLX. Now that you know, we've all had a good look at it and seen what it is and all that kind of stuff. So um, I still don't expect it. I think you know we would have heard about it by now. There weren't any new achievements in Twisty's video about AFOX or anything like that, which there would be. So I'm not expecting it. But again, like I said in the previous video, AFLW wasn't expected to be in the first game. It was so. Who knows at this point in time? Again, we didn't expect Waffle and Sandful and these other state leagues to be added in this update. So. They're going above and beyond AFLX as a possibility. Also the fact that it isn't the most popular thing, I don't think. AFLX didn't go down amazingly well with fans. People aren't desperate for it, but I think in an AFL video game, it could work really well. I think that's the perfect kind of thing for it, where it'd be a bit more pick up and play, I think, than the regular game. There's a bit less marking, there's smaller fields, there's less stoppages, it's kind of always on the go, so um, and shorter matches, so quick and easy and very pick up and play. That's what I'd imagine anyway. So guys, let us know in the comments. Are you excited about this update? Can you wait until May 3rd? What do you think about the potential of new state teams being added? So yeah, let us know your thoughts and thanks for watching, guys.